If you had to find the 100th term of the sequence, how would you do it? Think about it, and I'll share a strategy that blew my mind. In my second year of teaching, I gave this problem, along with a couple others, to my students. I gave them a couple minutes to think about it. And in my head, I was hoping that someone would say, well, we would start at 3 and we would jump 4 99 times to get to the 100th term. And I was hoping someone would say this because that logic really lends itself to the arithmetic sequence formula. Now, just in case you don't know what that is, here it is. To find the 100th term, we start at the first term and we jump 4 99 times. Now, this did come up, but a student raised his hand and he said, I got the same final answer, but I did it in a different way. So I said, great, can you come up to the board and show us what you did? So the student went up to the board and wrote the multiples of 4 underneath and said, I noticed that all of these are one less than the multiple of 4, and the 100th multiple of 4 is 400, and one less than that is 399. And when he said that, I was blown away, because the explicit formula for this sequence is a sub n equals 4n minus 1. I never made the connection that 4n minus 1 literally means 1 less than the multiples of 4. So we can think of arithmetic sequences as constants away from multiples. I totally missed this in high school, because in high school, all I did was just get the answer, box it, move on to the next one. So Steven, if you are watching this, thank you for helping me make this connection.